the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher. This is the Stitchery, and I'm so happy you're here today. Today is a very special video. It's for Galentine's Day. <laughs> I might have missed it. Today I am celebrating my really good friends who inspired me to even make this channel in the first place. They are in no particular order because they are all at the top and beyond. And if you've never heard of any of them, I strongly recommend you go down and check out their channel. I will link all of them in the description below in the order in which I say them so they're easy to find. The first one I absolutely have to say a big shout out to is Chronically Crocheting. Crystal, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be on here at all. You know the really personal reasons why but um, I want to thank you so much. She is a delightful channel. She is a spoonie just like me and um, she has really bad days and really good days and she just makes every day worth counting and I think that's wonderful and I highly highly admire you for that. That's just beyond wonderful. The next person I have to uh, give a huge shout out to is Cassandra at Craftably Ever After, all the way over in Denmark. <laughs> if you don't know Craftably Ever After, please go check out her channel. She has adorable patterns that are PDF. You can download them right to your computer for free. Not only that, she shares some really great tips on how to use smaller yarns. So if you're somebody who likes to make the smaller things, the smaller hook and the smaller yarn, she's perfect for you to follow. The next person is actually one of Cassandra's friends and kind of how I met her is Caroline at For the Love of Crochet. I call her channel the Bunny Burrow <laughs> because she is a bunny person. She makes all these cute little bunnies and um but there's more to her channel than that but i i call her channel the bunny burrow and she laughs at me but um i strongly recommend that you go watch um her channel she has been doing these really cool things that she calls an amigurumi toolkit and it's stuff that you can find at the dollar tree little little things you don't think of that go with amigurumi she's very creative in what she picks for you to use for amigurumi it's things i've never thought of before I thought I was an out-of-the-box thinker until I met her. <laughs> the next person is my my birthday twin. We share the same number, not the same month, but I call her my birthday twin. And it's Nova at Nova Noom Creations, fellow ginger. She is amazing. The girl has not even been crocheting for a super long time, and she's already designing patterns and got stuff in her Etsy shop and pew. <laughs> Next, I want to mention Llama Mama Kayla. Oh, she's inspiring. Oh my goodness. Llama Mama Kayla, my heart goes out to you for everything you suffer with. Yes, Spoonies, we suffer with stuff, but you, you just prove how glorious God can be in the hard times. And you inspire so many people. We love you. And if you don't know who Llama Mama Kayla is, she is a beautiful soul. Please go follow her. Doesn't matter what she's talking about. You will have a good time. She just is like a warm hug and I love watching her. Next, I would like to mention Kim at Knit for Brains. She is not a very big channel, but she is wonderful and please go follow her. She doesn't have enough followers and she's so interesting. She does hook reviews. I completely blame her for me having tulip hooks. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> She does yarn reviews, she does hauls, she makes the most beautiful mandala blankets. Go follow her. I also want to say a big thank you to Complicated Knots. Oh my goodness, I would never have tackled the types of amigurumi that I did if it wasn't for you. I love her designs. Go check her out. Not enough people know about her channel. Go check her out. If you want to see some really unique, fun amigurumi that she gives you tutorials for and you can try and you think oh I could never do that the way she helps you you can do that since it's a Galentine's Day and we're talking about people I love my aunts who are both fiber artists 
and um, my mother, who isn't. <laughs> my mother is not a fiber artist, but she supports me and she helps fund this and um, she's a bit of an enabler and I love her so much. Thank you. So that's it. This is just a Galentine's tribute to celebrate spoonies and yarnies and just people I love. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I hope that you have the best Galentine's Day ever. And if this comes out after Galentine's Day, which it might with my computer issues, then I hope you had a fabulous Galentine's Day and Valentine's Day with someone you love. If you don't have anyone for Valentine's Day, that's okay. I don't either. <laughs> Valentine's Day shouldn't be just about couples. It's about love. All kinds of love. If you have a pet, if you have a best friend, if you have a family member, then you have love. And if you don't have any of those people in your life, I love you and I'm praying for you. Thank you for joining me today. I know this video was a little off topic, but also not because it is February. At least when I'm filming this, it is. It might show up in March. Sorry. I just wanted to make a video to support my gals and to tell them how much I love and admire them. Anyone who sees this video, if you don't follow the people I mentioned, go check out their channels. I will link them down below. So happy Galentine's Day. Happy February. Happy whatever month it is. Thank you for being so wonderful. And I love you all. And I hope you have a wonderful, loving, magical day. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please do. And be part of our Zebra Yarny family over here. And if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up so I know you like it. And um, if you're one of the people I mentioned, give it a thumbs up so I know you saw it. Thanks again. And remember, Boonies can stitch it up too. Bye.